has bitcoin crashed is the bull run over is it the end of bitcoin can you not make any more money with crypto so this is what i'm seeing all over my social media since the last couple of days and i thought let me show you a quick video of how i see the charts as a layman and what i see coming up like as a possibility okay because there is no surety there is no clarity i don't know the future i don't have a crystal ball so bitcoin moves in four year cycles if you know how uh, which starts somewhere around the happening and you can google this stuff okay so the first cycle that was there was the cycle of 2013 when the price had skyrocketed so you need to understand that in these four years the major bull run is for 6 months to 1 year maximum 1 and a half year and then there is a long bear market okay so this is the january chart i'm going to draw a few comparisons to make a few estimates for what is coming up and then it's up to you to decide whether bitcoin is dead whether crypto is dead since we have recently touched 42000 okay so as you can see in january the price was like from december to january the price was around 13 then it was slowly climbing like in feb it was 20 which is roughly 50% up then in um march it was 34 okay which is again um roughly like 50 60 70% up so from january till march we had already 2.5x in price and people were happy people were going like yes 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 this is the shit bitcoin is the shit okay then it hit an all time high of um 230 dollars on 9th of april and then it crashed all the way to 15th of april at 82 dollars okay this is where uh, it tipped by 60% okay 66% actually from 68 it went back to 143 which is um, roughly 2x and then it tipped again okay you can see from one like it had got here 154 came down all the way till 98 okay somewhere right here so again tipped by 30% then it uh, re- revived a bit went to 132 uh, was on a down here came back to as low as 66 where it stayed for a long time and then you know like from here um 132 to 66 it's again a 50% dip and then again uh it doubled in a few months minor dip then it went here uh 200 dollars in october so again doubled uh, a minor dip of 10% then we had this like 336 run then it dipped 10% then it went up and 674 came down 20% went up again little dip there then uh it went all the way up to 1100 dollars and it went all the way 946 so which is 20% roughly then it went all the way until here 1147 and it went all the way back to 694 which is like 40% then it went back up 990 came down all the way back to 522 40% again went up um if you see 765 um let's see 765 like where was that yeah and came crashing to 560 then went up then down all the way to 458 okay so this is how the price was moving and then went up down and it went fluctuating so what you can see here is in every bull run there are multiple small micro bull runs okay 3 4 5 so in here the first one was here when we went from 13 to all the way up till to 230 and then we dropped to 68 okay that is when people were saying uh, bitcoin is red bitcoin is red it's a scam it's fake because it crashed by 66% okay then up again we went to 143 we bulky more than that 154 and we went back down to um 66 which is again like 50 60% then up again we go went go up go down go up go down so around four or five times this was the top of the bull run okay so we had like three or four micro bull runs here 
before it finally crashed and if you see the price of bullets 2015 so this was where it had hit um, like this is a low 190 something right and if i go to 2016 okay so it had gone up again but let's stick to 15 so even in 3 years from 13 until uh, like 2015 which is not even 3 years like 2 and a half years it had still done um, more than like 22x okay and still people were crying of course from here 13 till all the way up till here it did close to 100x okay like 80x 90x something like that and of course when things go parabolic this is pure parabola it often retraces by 80 percent that's what i have been telling everyone in my videos it goes down here so this was the lowest point i believe okay so you can see 80 percent 246 dollars you can do the math that's how parabolas behave okay this was 2013 run we reached the top somewhere around 2013 4th of december and then the markets started crashing here 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 so from later weeks of december till january the markets kept crashing now let's go to this and there were not a lot of tools that i could use to show you those things now let's go to the 2017 cycle okay let's see so in 2017 what was happening was um everything was okay from here until here like this it went 5x still like you know if you take a look at the price but let's say we don't want to consider this we only want to focus on december of 16 because that is where you know you can like that is where we started the other one like from actually here from here it went all the way up until this point 698 to 4630 you can see the chart this is to give you a better picture this is how it went okay this is how it went like on 1st of january you can see like 4x okay then um, actually somewhere here yeah then what happened so actually i don't want to remove that i want to add this and let's see from here it went all the way down to where which is 40 percent dip right but after this 40 percent dip it went down from here all the way up till here let's see and i'm not going to include a lot of technical terms here that see this happened that happened I'm just trying to keep it as simple as I can okay for any layman so you see it went all the way up to uh, like 5x this was 5x okay and if I change it to weekly you can also see that it had crashed a little bit from here so from um, here 11,486 and you can see the difference 5000 so it's almost a 20 was 50 percent oscillation in the same month okay so from here if you again want to do the um, comparison it came down all the way back to like 50 percent crashing and this was february and then it went all the way down to here which was first of jan 2019 like by 80 percent so parabolas often retrace which i have been telling you so many times okay so again three or four micro runs or major runs whatever you want to call it and it did the same thing okay and if you see closely uh if we can expand this a little so the first run was somewhere from january okay let me remove this so you can see what i'm trying to show you the first run that we are talking about was Jan from january to um, somewhere here right somewhere here till august okay and if i change it to weekly so you can see it better um, because that would give you a far better picture 
okay so see on the weekly what was happening um, i hate when i'm not able to like get it in just one click <laughs> so on the weekly what happened we came here 2.25x and then from here we went all the way to like 36 percent correction and this correction this correction started somewhere here like june okay this was 5th june and this correction went down till july and from july we like from this point we went all the way up till this point which was 1.5x from where we came crashing to this again a 40 percent correction this happened in september somewhere okay now from here we went all the way up till here like up till here which was october and in october we again like crashed down 35 percent okay and then from october we went all the way to let's see we went all the way up till here 2.5x from where we crashed to 43 percent in one week okay so this is what you can see we had how many runs um this is 17 right so this is the first one then the first step then the second one second step third one third step fourth one fourth step okay so there were four micro cycles involved here and let's remove all of this so 2013 four parts of full run um 2017 four parts of the full run and if you want to do a whole like what actually happened in 2013 or oh, sorry 2017 let's see so we go to here like from here until here in the entire bull run the market up like the btc price went to 1863 percent which is 18x okay and then this was the peak right and this is 343 days then it crashed forget about this let's talk about here first it crashed to 52 percent in just one month and then kept crashing to 69 percent in another one and a half month and then kept crashing 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 so this bull run lasted for close to a year okay it was starting from all the way until here somewhere around january and it went all the way till december when the price crashed now let's go to 2021 because that's what everyone is talking about right so this you can see on 25th we had a crash of 60 percent okay so this is what happened and again the like this was when you know covid news had come out so a lot of people don't consider this as a part of cycle i also don't consider it as a part of cycle okay but i'm still showing you like we can we corrected 60 percent during a bear market only so and of course if you want to see here like from this till 17 december 2018 we had gone all the way up until 3x so we had moved to 13,000 from here okay so we technically consider this a bear market of course there were certain bull parts of it so from here um, it went all the way up until here okay which is 1.5x and this is july okay and then this is when it crashed so as you can see it crashed to what 25 percent this is the first part of the cycle that i'm considering okay i am a very um, conservative investor when it comes to protecting my capital so i'm considering that this was a part of the run 
then if we go from here until all the way up until here which was 4th of January okay 7th of September to 4th of January we went in terms of price to 3.2x we went all the way from here 9800 to all the way up to 42,000 okay and this was the second run as from my experience then we had a correction 32 percent you can see this then from here we went here which is almost 2x and from here we went to here which is 25 percent now i personally don't i'm not a hundred percent sure whether i would call it a correction or not but like i said i was very conservative investor in terms of protecting my money so i'll still give it a benefit of doubt and from here as you can see we had reached a total of another 50 percent up like from this point 43,000 till here which was 65,000 and right now we are back to a 34 percent correction which i was calling out since um, like since somewhere around march february march i was saying that a correction is gonna come because i am not personally convinced with 20 percent 25 percent corrections corrections have to be at least 30 35 percent when it comes to ptc and now seeing this even in this run if i consider all of these i just see um how many one two three just three i just see three long runs that btc had and that is why i feel that a part of the bull run is still left when will it come most certainly i can't say most certainly most likely it should start somewhere like btc should start somewhere again in probably june or july okay so if you can see the rsi which is a strength indicator is right now at 50 we don't want this to be at 50 right now because in every month you can see from here it went to 73 here it went to 63 and in 2017 let's come to 2017 okay it had gone all the way back till here which was in july before it went to another all time high okay so this is 18th december i will never forget this date okay so it went to 90 so if you see the level it was close to 54 okay every time it has come to this level it has gone back up to at least 80 plus you can see this in a month in two months in three months right now you can see the rsi here it's coming close to at 50 okay sometimes it has come down to even 33 it has gone up rapidly so this is why i feel that since the rsi has been forming higher lows here from 94 all the way until 50 we can expect a btc rally soon so it went from 89 all the way up until what 29 and then skyrocketed in just two three months okay so that is that for bitcoin that is why i feel there is a good part of the cycle left now considering how high can it go i have no idea i don't have a crystal ball about how high it can go i conservatively believe we should be hitting somewhere around eighty thousand two hundred thousand dollars some people say two hundred and forty eight thousand dollars or more if that happens i would be the happiest man but that's my conservative estimate now talking about the alts uh, since a lot of us are also into alts uh, if we take a look at the alts because everyone wants to know how high the price of the alts go okay so if we come back here until i would say to the highest point the alts market had grown by 543x okay which is a lot which is a lot right now if i come to uh, december or even october september let's say the alts market has already gone up 
10 x okay it's not like this 543 x and i don't expect it to go 543 x right now because if bitcoin goes 2 x it should go around 8 to 10 x so even if it does 80 or 100 x overall i would be pretty happy if this happens i would say the probability of this happening is very less okay i would be the happiest man again but probability of this happening is very less this going to another 8 10x from here is completely possible it's also possible it may not go there it may crash tomorrow i'm just sharing what i am able to see as you can see the rsi right now it's very hot it's one of the highest it has ever been and that is why i believe alts are gonna dump really hard when btc starts running so you can see here it went down all the way until these levels and again it was high here then kept dumping dumping and consolidated for a while and then it has been running like crazy so this is what i feel this is my overall analysis i won't even call it technical analysis i would just call it layman analysis because i'm not using a lot of technical tools i'm just using basic understanding of how i understand the math of markets and how i look at the market so i hope this video helped you understand a few things there are no conclusions no ending notes because it's up to you what conclusion you want to derive i still feel there is going to be one last leg of the cycle how long i don't know but i definitely feel it's not going to be long like most people think are thinking until the end of the year i i feel that it it can end before that maybe btc starts running again in june july until august or september and then uh, all start running at the same time like around september october and then the market crashes again this is a possibility not financial advice it may happen it may not happen so do your own research and yeah if you like the video hit like share and subscribe and put in a comment with your biggest takeaway okay i'll see you bye